and I'll lead off with the graphic. So. Good afternoon and happy Memorial Day from KSR. It is Drew Franklin here with our baseball guru, Daniel Hager. We are currently watching the NCAA Baseball Championship Selection Special on ESPN2. We were lucky enough to see Kentucky's draw early in the broadcast, so we just thought we'd hop on YouTube before the bracket is completely revealed and talk about what it means for Kentucky. As we learned last night, early announcement, Kentucky was one of the teams to earn a, uh, a host site, so they will be hosting a regional in Lexington. Today we found out they're the number 12 overall seed, and they will play Ball State on Friday and then either Indiana or West Virginia after that. Uh, Daniel, we can first talk about that draw and then get on to what's after that if they can make it further. There's a little LSU Super Regional we can uh, look to if we don't get too far ahead. But let's first just start with Kentucky's place in the field, that number 12 overall seed, and then the uh, the three teams that will be with them in Lexington. What do you think of the early draw? All right, yeah, I was actually um, kind of shocked that they got up to number 12 seed. I know a lot of the projections were kind of having them towards that latter end of the, the, the top 16, uh, maybe the 14s or 15s. So, yeah, I think it's a pretty good draw, the number 12 seed. I don't love the Super Regional, you know. LSU kind of – they were, they were the best team all year until kind of the, later in the year their pitching staff kind of fell off for them and they had a little injury little injury problem. But I don't I don't mind the draw. I know um, the team that they weren't wanting to have in their regional was Boston. It's in college and they ended up in Miami. You know, West West Virginia, I mean, we've we, we, we not dived into these teams yet. I'm sure we'll find out about them, but just off the dome, you know, UK played Xavier earlier this season. They just played them in one game, beat them 13 to two, run rolled them. Xavier actually took the series from West Virginia in Morgantown earlier this year, and then Indiana. Indiana got run rolled by the Cats, also 12 to two earlier this year. So, don't really know much about Ball State, but I just I don't mind the draw. I love what you're saying about Indiana and and Ball State. We at least know they were lucky to even be here in the first place. They had a grand slam with two outs in the ninth inning to win the MAC tournament. Otherwise, they're at home uh, like you and I are talking about selection yeah. show that we're watching here. So not to discredit them, but this is a team that kind of needed some heroics to even be in the field. You kind of like Kentucky's spot there. But uh, just let's backtrack to how Kentucky is coming into this tournament. We didn't like what happened in the SEC tournament after they finished the year strong. Do we worry about that 0-4 loss to Alabama, or did that just give them more time to rest up and be ready to host the first uh, regional since 2017? I, I kind of think that that, that 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 might not be the worst thing in the world for them. I know their pitching rotation is kind of – they were strong most of the season, but the injuries kind of started to bite them towards the end of the year. You know, Logan Martin and Travis Smith um, coming off his Tommy John surgery. They've now had a week to prepare. I mean – they, they will enter this Friday having almost not played in two weeks. So that's two weeks of practicing and, and rehabilitating and everything. So, you know, Alabama, it's not – you can't really worry about that because Alabama's been on a hot streak since they fired their coach. I know they're, they're 10 and 2 in their last 12 games without Bohannon. Um, um, it's just Kentucky lost that game. It's Andrew Pinkney beat them down. And when, when someone plays like that, it's like, what can you even do at that point, you know? So – I mean, I think they're in a good spot. Um, they'll have about two weeks off before they play and get all their pitching staff healthy, get everyone healthy, and then they'll be ready to go. Yeah, we like uh, how they ended the regular season. We'll, we'll forget that one SEC tournament loss. As we said, we kind of like Ball State as the first opponent, a team that maybe shouldn't be there. You've covered this team all year and uh, doing a great job of that, by the way. This is the first ever Drew Franklin-Daniel Hager collab. We're doing our first video together, but been following your content all year, and you're as touched with the baseball team as anyone. So just at a broader scale, you know, this was kind of a, a tough year for Nick, Nick Mangione coming into it. It was show us something or, you know, we might not be seeing him next year, but he has clearly answered the bell. This is only the third time UK's even hosted a regional in its history. So he and his team got the job done. But just in broad terms, what has gotten to them at this point? I know pitching's done well. There's been some standout players. Uh, what do you think was the key in just Kentucky going from what we saw last year and the year before that to now having a home game in the postseason? Yeah, you know, I mean, going back to last season, Coach Mangione, I mean, we don't know this or not, but it's it was kind of widely speculated that he saved his job with their SEC tournament run last year into the Final Four. Um, but this year was all about the transfer portal. And that's kind of he, that's going to become his thing, it seems. He's already on it this year. The uh, uh, slugger from Delaware State. 
But, you know, Hunter Gilliam was a transfer, and he was one of the best players on the team. Jackson Gray was a transfer. He was one of the best players on the team. And then you get the breakout from Emilian Petrie at second base. And he barely even played second team this year. You know, it's just the, the play from these older guys has kind of accelerated everyone around them. And even the pitching staff has been well as well. You know, Darren Williams is in his seventh year of college baseball, and he's going to end up being, I think they said, is either top five or top ten in an ERA in the history of the program. And he's a viable contributor out of the bullpen. And the pitching staff, you know, Travis Smith, he's going to be the ace for the for the baseball team next year. He's just a redshirt freshman, and he's pumping 96, 97, you know. The, this season was make or break for Mingione. I know a lot of a lot of BBN was kind of kind of hesitant on him, but he's responded well. And then even when he was on KSR last week, you know, he he rubbed a lot of people the right way, and I think that they're in the right direction for the future of the program. I agree with you. I went to a few games this season, and had a lot of fun. I mean, I went last year when they upset Tennessee. There, Kentucky Proud Park has just been amazing, and it does, hasn't had the moments and the events to get people there. So I'm so excited to see that place get full. You've been at all of them. I know you know what to expect, but the first game's Friday. Time is still to be announced, I believe. We'll get ticket stuff on the website. I know you're cooking on things weeks to come. We've already got previews of these teams in the works, but Daniel, tell everyone how people can follow you on Twitter. I didn't know to find you on the KSR website, but just uh, some of the places you can be found and what you've been doing for KSR and baseball this year. Yeah, you can just find me on Twitter at Daniel Hager KSR. And then as Drew said, just find me on the website. We'll be under the baseball section. I know me and Adam and Jack and have been kind of contributing on that all year. And it's culminating in the March to Omaha if they can get that going. So, so excited to see where this goes. Yeah, as I said, you've done great all year, but I think the eyeballs are about to increase now that Kentucky is playing some games at home. Hopefully they'll go far. We'll just throw you in the car. We'll all go to Omaha together. But oh, yeah. first, first, it starts with Ball State on Friday. And right now, we're just happy to see Kentucky get that number 12 overall seed. We'll see what happens from there. But we like the draw so far. Daniel, thank, for, thank you for jumping on and talking a little Cats baseball with us. Like I said, plenty to come. And thank you for all you've done all year. For everyone watching at home, we'll get back to it. They're still revealing more of the brackets. So we're still learning that. We'll have the full thing up on the website soon. And happy Memorial Day to everyone. Remember the reason we celebrate today, honoring those service men and women who paid that ultimate price. We're not here with our freedoms without them. So happy Memorial Day to them. Go Cats, and we'll, we'll follow some UK baseball on Friday.